everybody. My name is Sean with Morris Rose Auto Parts, and today I'll be showing you guys and demonstrating how to properly package and handle headlights um, with the foam machine. That is this method, and it may look like a whole lot because you got all these cables, you got two barrels here, um, but it's really, it's really simple. Uh, there's only one button on this. I lied. There's a few, but turn it on. Simply, it's all you got to do. But the process for headlights is with the foam machine that is, it's essentially the same with a, whether it's tail lights too, or even smaller fog lamps. Um, we typically only tend to use this when the part is rather expensive. So our cutoff for headlights is $500. We will typically always foam something if it's a headlight over $500. Um, even if it's a mirror, some mirrors, they can be foamed as well. If it's a mirror over three, dollars $400, we're gonna end up foaming that. Um, again, same thing with really expensive tail lights, they'll end up being foamed. In my opinion and personal opinion and just experience, this is hands down the safest and best way to package anything. Um, if I could use this for every part, I would, but it's just simply not efficient to do that. But before you use this, please, please, please always use safety glasses. I can't preface how important it is to use these because in the event for whatever reason that the chemical that comes out of this gets in your eye, not good, or even the chemical over here, the chemical that's in here, um, this is a really corrosive, um, I'm not quite sure what it is, but essentially what it does is we scrape the end of this along the edge so that it'll clean off any residual stuff that gets stuck on it. And you always want to wipe it off before you use it because that, in the event that there's stuff on here and you start to spray, the spray pattern will come out uneven and it's going to make your job a whole lot better. But essentially with headlights, we want to make sure that everything checks out and everything's okay. That's a part of quality control. We're just gonna look at the headlight itself, examine all the mounting tabs, look at the back of the headlight to see if the ballast, if it has one, if it's there. Um, we're just looking and double checking all connections, uh, mounting tabs, like, like I said, everything looks A-OK -okay for this one. You also wanna watch out for slight cracks or moisture inside the lens because that could be an indication that the seal around the headlight itself is failing. And if that's the case, you're obviously not gonna to wanna to send out a failing product. But you're always gonna to wanna to clean the headlamp first. Um, this is just Windex. Let me just wipe it off, make sure it looks presentable. We're not looking for show finish, we're just looking for presentable. So you, get it and you get it clean. And then before we stage these, I always like to have my box pre-made. Um, for us, for headlights, we have two different types of boxes. This one's 30 by 14 by 14. This size will fit most headlights. A majority of headlights will fit in these. Um, if they don't fit in that, we have larger ones that are 35 by 16 by 16. But this headlight will work great in here. So I'm gonna use this. Um, a little tip I can recommend for anyone that's doing this, before you put the headlight in, before you even saran wrap it, before you even start spraying stuff down, always test fit it so you have a general idea of where the headlight's gonna sit inside the box before you set it in there. And you can see that I have a few inches on this side and a few inches on this side. Um, you essentially just wanna try to even it out all around so that not one side's too close to the edge in that event if that happens and you're shipping it and the sides touch excuse me and the headlamp is touching a side it can break during shipping so just be aware of that that the headlamp is not touching any side of the box um this step you want to be extremely careful with this um do not do not use shrink wrap this is stretch wrap um and you can do this method one of two ways you can either have someone hold the shrink wrap for you and then you can wrap the headlamp around it like that. But you can usually get away with one person, but this is how I do it. I just start my first roll around it. I grab it and then I just lightly go around it like this. And I do this because in the event that while I'm wrapping this headlamp and foaming it up, if that foam seeps out of this protective material, if that protective, if that foam is on this headlamp at all, it's ruined. You will not be able to get that foam off. So this 
shrink wrap, not shrink wrap, excuse me, this stretch wrap here acts as like a second protective barrier for the headlamp. And it has saved my butt before. Um, there has been instances where the foam has gotten outside of this liner and it has landed on the headlight. But the headlight had just foam around, uh, excuse me, shrink wrap around it. So there's no the light at all. Um, but once that is all settled and up and all wrapped up nicely, I'm just going to take your box here. I like to set it right in the middle. This is our shrink wrap. This stuff, well, excuse me, this is not our shrink wrap. This is a liner. I'm not entirely sure what the correct name for it is. But it's also a heat protector. This stuff comes out extremely hot and extremely warm. If you touch it while it comes out, you will burn yourself. I, I say that with experience. Do not let that stuff get on you at all. But see, all I do is I pull this out as far as I can. I get it hot, and then it's just forced. Just like that. But you're not done yet, so it comes to double folded. It's folded over itself. So I can it all the way. And then once you have it unwrapped, you get over here. You're going to lay it across the top of the box. Make sure it's stretched out all the way. And then a tip for this, and what makes my life easier, is I push it down all at once just to get a general most of it at the bottom of the box. But if you see over here, you can see that this corner is kind of like sitting up, this corner is sitting up. So to make it even and level, you just put one hand on either side and then you push down. You just hold it there so that it sits in that corner while you press down the other side. That way you get this liner all the way around the edge of the box. You want to get this liner as close to the edge or directly on the edge that you can. That way the foam is all the way around the box and there's not free empty space. So once you have it set up like this, you are essentially ready to get going. Um, this foam is rapidly expanding. Once I start to spray it down here, it's gonna start expanding like that. So you have to be quick, but you do have a little bit of leeway. So you're always gonna wanna start in one corner. You can start in any one you want, um, but once you start, it's gonna be one continuous motion throughout. Try your best not to keep on continuously squeezing the trigger. So we're just gonna go along the sides like this slowly. Super simple. And you can see it's already expanding. And then once you get all the sides done, it's, it's like I said, it's still expanding. Fill in the middle. And then you can see it's expanding like that. This is where you wanna hurry up a little bit fold this over. This will keep the foam inside that liner. Get your light. Be extremely careful. Put pressure down. And this will help the foam to conform and envelop the headlight. So what's actually happening is you saw that it was foaming, I mean, excuse me, you saw that it was expanding. While I push it down, it's still expanding, but it's wrapping around the headlamp. So it's making a shape of the foam around the headlamp to really, really help it keep protected. And it's pretty warm. You can see that there's steam coming off of this. Like I said, th if this foam comes out of this liner and you're, you're pushing it down and it seeps out for whatever reason and it gets on you, it will burn you. I have lost a lot of arm hair from that being burned before. And then to finish it off, it's the same thing. We're gonna pull it all the way back, pull it taut. And then again, like I said, it's folded it over itself. So you're gonna unravel it. Get it all the way extended. Lay it over the top of the box. And then same thing, just like the first step, except the only thing different is now the headlights in the box. So the concept remains the same. We still wanna get this silver liner as close to the sides as the headlamp as possible. Now, a little different thing about the second layer versus the first one is that obviously the headlamp's in there. So you're gonna have to shape the liner in the shape of the headlight. And that's really not too hard to do. So you can see like, that's where my mounting tab is. This is where the lens of the headlight is. And again, same thing with the first process. You're gonna wanna go around and start at the edge. 
wipe this off every time. I like to start in this corner and then I just work my way around. But you can see it's going pretty far down there like the foam is, so it's gonna have a lot of room that it needs to fill up and that's okay. We're just gonna let it do its thing. I do my first run through, I see where the foam is and how high it's gonna go up and I'm gonna need more. So I'm gonna fill up the top and wait, you see it's expanding over the box like this. That is okay. It's not fully hardened yet. You have a lot of wiggle room with this. You just have to be quick. Fold this liner over it. And you can see it well over the box. Don't panic. You can still press it down. See? And despite that foam, being all the way above the box, I was able just to fold the liner over and use the box to get an answer. I use my flat to help me push my box, to help push the foam down, which in turn is keep it flat. And then now, you have your headlight foamed up, it's as simple as just taping it up. But if I had a tape gun, I would do that and I would tape it up. Also, but one last thing, oh, thank you. I like to do one across. It's better to be safe than sorry. And then one over the top. But even before you ship this out, you are still not done. This is a really expensive headlight. You had to foam it because it was super expensive for a reason. You're gonna wanna let the people who are gonna be handling this box know. So put fragile stuff on the outside of it. I just like to cover the general sides of it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so that whoever's gonna to be touching this box knows that whatever is inside of here is really expensive and they need to be careful with it. But that is essentially a step-to-step -step guide on how to foam a headlight or a mirror or a tail light. It's all the same process. It's essentially making sure that part is protected with stretch wrap so that in the event this foam heats out and gets on the part, you can just take that stretch wrap off and it's, it's totally good to go. Um, yeah, that's all I got.